Nikama. Hello everyone. Uh, I am Yusuf Osman Barut, CEO of Edwino, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about industry 4.0. These are my topics here in general. Uh, okay, history of industry, benefits of industry 4.0, uh, companies which are using uh, industry, and where to, where to be used in our daily life. Okay. <coughs> uh, first, I want to start with a uh, uh, question. Would you pay a third person more to uh, have a full customization on your presence, such as the chords and the color, or the uh, let's say the size. screen size of the uh, product. product. Hmm. Okay, now, I will give you. So yes. you asked the question, but you didn't get the answer. Yes. Okay, what is the answer? Why? What could be the friend at here? Did you understand the question? Yes. Okay. What about the question, sir? Yes. Did you pay extra uh, money for this? Ten percent. Yeah. Did you uh, pay extra money for your product, for example, the color of the cord, the uh, 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 screen size, okay? Extra function, yeah. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Did you pay it, or are you paying? If you say to me, I will pay. You will pay. Yes. Okay. Of so, Abraham, what, what do you say? Do you pay? Did you pay or did you pay? Yeah, depending on the product. Okay. We are in a customization age. Okay, so you say you should I will pay. Yes, okay. I will pay. Now, uh, I say industry, but maybe some people don't understand what I talking about. I uh, this industry stands for uh, industrial revolution in the history, uh -huh. from steam engines to uh, internet of things and the uh, robots. Do you know where, where, uh, sorry, where did it begin in the history? The first uh, industrial, industrial revolution. Uh, this uh, first industrial revolution is in the uh, 17th century, I think. But 18th century. 18th. 18th? 18th century. Because it begins uh, 1789. This is 18th uh, yes. century. 18th century. Okay, it is 18th yes. century. Mm -hmm. uh, and now begin with this, uh, industry 1.0. Okay. Uh, there is a little problem. Uh, the text are uh, uh, black, yes, but I'll explain that, okay. no problem. Okay, no uh, problem. As you see, the first industrial revolution began with the steam engines. Mm -hmm. uh, with steam engines, uh, the human power uh, production uh, hugely decreased. Uh, and uh, in First, in industrial revolution, <laughs> there is just a concept of mass production. There is a mass production. Do you know what is mass production? Do you know mass production? Do you know what is mass production? Can you give the explanation what mass production is? Uh, mass production is the uh, producing something in excessive uh, number. In number. Excessive number. It is not uh, the production by manpower, yes. but but it is the production by the machine. For example, if you use manpower by producing something, okay, for your life, uh, you may produce one or two or three uh, in the number. However, when you use machines, so it can be mass production and uh, it gives the excessive number. Excessive number, big number again. Big number yes. for the production. It is, it is mass production. Mass production and it is in Turkish, toplu üretim. Yes, uh, 
Uh, produce uh, 
product with a robot body with artificial intelligence. There is no need of uh, human at all. Full automation, no human at the factory. Mm -hmm. Without any human, all the production process can be done. Yes. Huh. And uh, Internet of the Things, IoT, this uh, this is a huge topic, uh, I think. Yeah, Internet of yes. Things is a huge and excessively wide topic. But I can narrow that uh, to uh, what we say, smart watches, smart, smart, smart things, uh -huh. generally. Let's uh, say smart watch, even smart refrigerator, refrigerated television, everything yes. becomes smart. Becomes smart, and just think about the smart house, friends. All the devices in the house, in smart houses, connected to each other. Uh, it is called as Internet of Things, okay, and can be directed by just one click, okay, by using the, for example, smartwatch, maybe a telephone, smartphones, okay, even if you are not in the house, okay, you can, for example, start a heating system before you arrive at the house, maybe you can open the television, or maybe you can just uh, volume up and volume down, uh, blah, blah, okay, by just using your smart plus smartphone, uh, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, actually, the internet of the things is important for robots too, because robots have to uh, communicate each other. Like, uh, this robot produces something and it will communicate with the autonomous vehicle mm -hmm. and it will give it to them uh, with no human. Yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> so, me, friends, uh, when you should industry for zero, four point zero, actually it's a huge thing. Maybe you cannot guess what it is yes. uh, or estimate what it is. However, it's a huge thing, and I'm not sure it is uh, useful for human being or not. But I believe it brings a lot of things to our world. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the Big data, the also. Mm -hmm. also, that's a huge topic too, but it is like all of the, our data uh -huh. is becomes big data uh -huh. uh, and cloud computing. Uh, we what are is cloud computing? It is like uh, we are using it now. The Google, Google Docs and Google Drive, yes. all of these things are clouds. Love. All the data, yes. information that you are related or that you have, uh, all this information and data is what yes. there in the cloud computing, okay? Thanks. Actually, we are not storing these things in our devices, uh, and we are... But cloud is... Uh, cloud storing these things, another computer. Yes. And with all of these things, uh, uh, supposed to uh, fit uh, perfectly, that's the system integration. Mm -hmm. and the system integration, all the systems are integrated to each other. Yes. To each other yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Do you know what is integration? Integration. There are a lot of things and you connect all, all the things, all the devices, okay? They are integrated to each other. They are connected to each other. Yes. Uh, this working group, Bosch team and Kenny Kegerman, uh, pre uh, prepared a presentation in uh, uh, April, April, April uh, 2013. 2013, and uh, the industry 4.0 began. Uh, now I want to talk about the benefits of the industry 4.0. First, uh, light out factory. Actually, light out factory is kind of smart factory, but uh, uh, we are using the light out factories now. Even uh, without the autonomous vehicles, we are using the light out factories. Uh, so, typical light out factories, you mean? Uh, 
Uh, I have explained that. Uh, no. uh, in livestock factories, as you see, there is it does what? <laughs> it's not human. Uh -huh. uh, just robots. All of the factory is uh, just for robots. Mm -hmm. And because of there is no human, uh -huh. there is no need to life skill. Yes. And because of that, uh, livestock factories. Save the energy. Save the energy. Electric energy. Electric energy. And because there is no humans, there is no accidents too. And there is no accident. There is no to refer to human. Huh? There is no to be extra cash for humans to change their clothes or to have a shower. They are just robots and they don't need anything. And with life art factory, as you see, there is no human need in this factory. Because of that, you can uh, make the factory, uh, shape of the factory, whatever you want. Uh, you can easily uh, change the structure of the uh, exactly. factory. You and don't consider yes. people needs there. Yes. You don't consider people needs in this uh, smart factory. Yes. Yes. Okay? So it means you can take everything. Yes. Uh, as I uh, showed before, the Internet of the Things, IoT, uh, in daily life, uh, maybe you don't know that, but uh, there is some smart refrigerators, uh, smart houses, smart lightning, uh, the robots communicating with each other. All of the uh, things uh, will uh, connect the uh, general internet, uh, uh, what is the system, system yes, uh -huh. uh, and... Oh yeah, you can connect all these things yes. by just by using just by internet, yes. okay? You have just one place to, uh, I mean, be <coughs> connected for all the okay? And the data which are coming from these things, are uh, become big data for uh, companies. Yes, create big data for companies. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, the mass customization. Actually, that's my uh, focus on this presentation. Uh, mass customization is uh, the form, uh, mass customization mass give, give you the Full, full access to uh, product. For example, you can change the product color, shape, interior, exterior things. Uh, you can change all of the properties of the uh, product. In the production yes. Uh, for example, you are uh, you just go to the internet page. Uh -huh. uh, choose the things, the color change properties, and the, in the factory, normally, uh, even the uh, industry 3.0, uh, producing these things are so hard, because, uh, just think about that, all of the people want something different, mm -hmm. but this is uh, completely uh, impossible for normal mass production because mass production means producing one thing in huge uh, machines yes huge machines huge machines uh, with uh, industry 4.0 the mass production line will change to uh, 3d printer like things mm -hmm. uh, like yes the uh, next um, mass production machines, the 3D printers. With the 3D printers, you don't need a, uh, uh, what I say? Big machines? Yes, big machines. Oh. Little, little machines. Uh, with little machines, with little you machines, can produce, you can, uh, produce the calculated uh, product. Uh -huh. And yeah, personalized uh, product. Yes, per personalized, personalized product. Okay. Uh, and yes, in now 
the industry 4.0 in terms of countries. Uh, of course, uh, the industry 4.0 began in Germany because of that it's the now first and biggest user of the industry 4.0, which takes to both and senior companies. In an uh, industry 4.0, the companies are too important <coughs> because companies are changing their uh, industrial uh, production. production. Uh, if they don't want the test the uh, industry 4.0, nobody can do anything. No. Okay, it could, however, I, I, actually I love the changing and I love technology and I love everything uh, in terms of future. Okay, however, oh, what can you say about this? If you remember, your last essay topic it, it was, uh, was, was about uh, the effect of unemployment. Yes. Okay? Yes. So, what do you think about the, uh, the, the we have still unemployment, uh, yes. a high unemployment uh, number, okay? So, what what will happen to these people after the, or during the industry 4.0 uh, period? Of course, the unemployment rate will rise because of the industry 4.0, but this uh, process can easily uh, Converted, maybe? Yes, converted, because with uh, new machines, uh, there, there will be a new uh, working uh, place yeah. too, new jobs too. Uh, for example, I don't know, robots, uh, maintenance per, uh, people will appear. And <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, USA. Okay, USA, USA is, is the biggest competitor for Germany, uh -huh. competitor of Germany. Okay. Because nowadays, USA have the biggest mass production lines in the uh, earth. Uh, and I research uh, uh, industrial 4.0 in USA, by, but I couldn't find uh, any relevant information. Uh, but not the whole USA, but <coughs> four, four companies. I said the companies are so important in the, in the industry 4.0. The fourth company is in uh, industry 4.0 now, I think. Uh, and I will show you that in the uh, last slide. Okay. Just wait. Uh, but uh, how much time do you need to finish? Uh, not so much, maximum five. Uh, okay. Uh, and Japan. Japan, uh, I, I couldn't find any information about uh, Japan in Industry 4.02, but... Yeah, how I, do you know Japan is the... <laughs> yes. <laughs> but huh. the development of artificial intelligence and robot technology, uh, I think... Is in the, in Japan. In, in, uh, the development of the uh, artificial intelligence technology in Japan, I think, leads to the leadership of the uh, Industry 4.0. Uh, I think Japan <coughs> has the biggest potential. <laughs> but <laughs> just for my just my opinion. Okay. And uh, yes. Uh, now. In daily life, how the industry 4.0 will affect our life uh, in terms of mass customization in my focus. Uh, these are the uh, model T, for, for uh, first car, mass mass produced car. And uh, I found out that uh, for, for uh, Model T cars are have the first assembly line in the history, mm -hmm. uh, and there is a new Ford Focus. Uh, it is from 19th, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, in Industry 4.0, you can change the color, airbag, brake, uh, and maybe transmission uh -huh. of the car now. Uh, when I uh, 
uh, uh, preparing this slide. Uh, in the next slide, I think about placing uh, the uh, industrial 4. Point, uh, the car production in the industrial 4.0. But uh, I found out that Ford already did that. Before. Yes, before. Now I will show you that in the uh, internet page of the port. Let's go. Uh, Technical problems. Yes. 4.0. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway, I guess one of the other ones. We don't have to show it now. Because the uh, time is, you know... They don't have the money to cut it. No, you want it. I don't know, guys. Yes. Slide back or eat it? I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. Ya ne güzel son yüzü gösterdik. Mükemmel de ya. Tamam zaten yüzü çok zaman geçiyor. Aynen öyle. Artık bir şey yapmayalım. Allah'a sağlık. Böyle olmaya gerek yok. Böyle olmaya gerek yok. Böyle olmaya gerek yok. Böyle olmaya gerek yok. Evet, hadi bye bye. Böyle bir şey yok. Çok ayıp. Kim? Ford Webster. Yeah, you can uh, build your own car, and it is now. It is industry 4.0. <coughs> I just wanna show you that, but we don't have time. Yes, Okay. what are your final demands? Yes. <laughs> there is a problem. Okay. Okay, no problem, but just give your final demands. Okay. Huh? Different. Uh, industry 4.0 is the huge step in the human history and uh, I just uh, want to give you a general idea about <laughs> industry 4.0. That's all. Thank you.